Hi Guido, um, per your email about Flex, I'm not sure what your issue is. Um, I do have to say though that there are some times where Flex will not solve even though you see a preview of it and if there's some if there's some geometry in there that when flexing it causes self-intersection or um, invalid bodies it just won't complete so just be aware of that um, you can use the hard edge option to sometimes overcome that uh, if it's just a matter of learning how to use flex um, it's kind of like riding a bike you just have to get a little experience on it and then you'll learn how to use it. So flex only works on a single body. That's the limitation. And um, let's go to twisting since that's the one you identified. If you right click on these arrows at the trim planes, that's what you use to actually twist. And you can see you get the value here in uh, the property manager. If you left click, it actually limits the trim plane or the amount of flex. So if I pull these back, then just this area here is flexing while these stay straight. So that's how those work. Now, um, a lot of users ask, well, how do you, let's go back into it, how do you actually just flex one half of your part? Um, how do you do that? Well, the way you do that is to um, leave one trim plane, move the other one, and then right click on your triad and say move this uh, triad to that trim plane that you have delimited. So now when you, when you bend or you twist, you're just going to be doing one portion of your solid. And that's how that works. Um, Likewise, you can actually offset the radius of bend. So if I pull this triad out, you can see now I'm affecting where, in particular on the bend, where the radius is. And um, as far as the, the bend um, uh, axis, well, if you go here back into um, flex, um, right now, if we if we bend this, we're we're bending around uh, the y-axis. You can see the red arrow is your bend axis. If we rotate this triad, we can now bend it um, per the z-axis, and you can see the values here. If I can just kind of true this up. You can see now I'm bend, bending around the z-axis, and then likewise I can do the x-axis. So that's that's how that works. So uh, again, if you just want to bend one part part of your your object, right-click on the triad and say move the triad to trim plane one or two, and now you can see that um, I'm actually just bending from this beginning point of your your object. And that's, that's pretty much how it works. And I don't think there's anything more else I can say. I did mention the hard edges. Um, you know, that, that's if, uh, you, if you want a smooth re result or you want it to actually be uh, topologically broken where the flex or bend starts. That's what that's about. Um, this guy down right here is really kind of the uh, it works more for taper and other things. It gives you different results as far as how it flexes. Um, generally, don't use it. Um, anyway, so th that's it. I hope that that helps. Okay.